Hey everybody, it's Mike Faye with Kotaku, and this is the first five minutes of Sonic the Hedgehog, the original game, being played here in the Sega Classics program on Steam. And that's okay, because we're not really here for the game so much as we are for the 50th birthday of Mr. Yuji Naka. Born 50 years ago today, Japanese time, Yuji Naka taught himself how to code for games by reverse engineering code snippets in gaming magazines. His natural talent got him a job at Sega, where he did, among other things, the 3D uh, programming for Fantasy Star on the Sega Master System. Those first-person dungeons, cool 3D effects, so already he was working miracles back in the, uh, from his very start. And what he's most, most known for, though, technically is a small prototype platformer starring an animal in a ball going through curved tubes. That platformer with its astounding sense of speed, that little prototype, would eventually become the... I missed the ring, damn it. It was the inspiration for Sonic the Hedgehog, basically. Now, Yuji Naka didn't design Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, he did not design the levels here. But he was the main programmer and responsible for Sonic moving the way he does. Uh, that speed that set him apart from Mario back in the day. You know, the reason... There was a the reason there was a console war in the first place, really, was because of this guy. Because there's sure as hell Alex Kidd wasn't pulling his mascot weight back in the day, old jerk. Can I survive and talk about Yuji Naka at the same time? I don't know. I don't know. Now, after Sonic the Hedgehog back in 1991, he went on to work a program. Son of a bitch, missed the ring again. He did Sonic and Knuckles, he did Sonic and the Hedgehog 3, and then he kind of settled into more of a producer role with Sega. He was pretty much responsible for everything Sonic the Hedgehog up until 2006 when he left the company to form his own studio. But aside from Sonic the Hedgehog, oh gosh, I hate this. I'm not going to be able to do this and talk at the same time. Aside from Sonic the Hedgehog, he was producer on games like, uh, well, Burning Rangers, one of my favorite games of all time. A sadly, sadly underrepresented son of a bitch. Uh, game, not son of a bitch. The Burning Rangers, uh, Knights in the Dreams, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Remember that one, don't you? That classic. It was a good try. We knew from the start there was never going to be a big Billy, and the Billy Hatcher franchise, but, you know, you don't win them all. And it wasn't his fault anyway, he was just producing. Some other designer had the idea for Billy Hatcher, and he's like, I guess so. Well, that's not actual canon. As much as real life can be canon, that's just me making stuff up. Okay, here we go. I might actually make it to the next stage in this round. Oh. Well, I can remember where anything is. I'm gonna kill... Oh! Robotnik's coming up. So anyway, uh, yeah, Nights in the Dreams, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Uh, since 2006, Yuji Naka went on to create his own studio, uh, Prope, I believe it is. Uh, he created a mobile game called Ivy the Kiwi that was desperately trying to channel. Oh god, why? Son of a gun. Please. I've got no rings. Sorry. The exposition was on hold for a moment there. So anyway, Ivy the Kiwi, uh, th their latest game is coming out in North America later this year, uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier, or Rodea, Rodi, whatever it is. It's a game coming to the Wii U, because games have to come to the Wii U at some point. Hey, we wouldn't be here playing Sonic the Hedgehog if it weren't for Yuji Naka and his contribution to the fast motion of this little blue bastard right here. And uh, today, on his 50th birthday, I wish him all the best. Uh, I wish him all the success in the world. And uh, I want to thank him for pulling this off. And creating a whole generation of Sega fans to be disappointed later on. Sorry. That was kind of... Okay. For the last few seconds of this podcast, I will be dodging fire and forgetting where I am. I remember where I am. The zone I really hate. Gosh, darn it! Thanks, Yuji Naka. Jerk. <laughs>